afternoon, everyone. My name is Paulo Ferreira. How's everyone doing tonight? Real quick, guys, let me ask you this question. How many of you are using or use money every day? I'm sure most of you do, or all of you. Now, how many of you are actually managing your finances properly? Yes, I'm sure some of us struggle. Um, do you guys know who this guy is, who, gen who this gentleman is? Warren Buffett. He is a... Uh, as stated on Forbes magazine, the second wealthiest man in the U.S. And he has two rules when it comes to managing money. The first rule is never lose money. The second rule is never forget rule number one. <laughs> He's a funny guy. Um, so, speaking of losing money, um, a study on Bloomberg show that Georgians, since we live in Georgia and we'll talk about Georgia, spent last year $4.2 billion on lottery tickets. That's an average of $470 per person. It's a lot of money that people lost, not invested, lost. You know, I work for Transamerica Financial Group and World Financial Group. We are the third largest broker dealer in the U.S. And we specialize in helping families, and everyday people, uh, with their finances. We, we, we teach them financial literacy. So today, um, in the U.S., only four states require financial education. That's pretty awful, you know, considering that almost all the other states will offer their students home economics. You know, kids aren't sewing buttons, but they're using money every day. Um, let me talk to you guys uh, real quick about the six cornerstones to a solid financial background. Number one is cash flow. Your, in your income money that's coming in and, also, and your expenses, money that's going out. That's the, number two is debt, ma debt management. Forgive me. Debt management. Number three is your emergency fund. Very important. And number four prop is, is getting the proper protection. Number five is asset accumulation, which we will talk a little bit more about. And number six is estate preservation. So today, today I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about asset accumulation and how important it is to start early accumulating assets. As you can see here on this chart, Mr. Start Early started at age 25 contributing $3,600. He did that for the next seven years, contributing a total of $25,000. At age 48, he had $128,000 in that account. Now why did he have that? Because the account was earning 8% interest every year. 8% every year. Mr. Wait Longer decided he could wait a little longer to start saving money. You know, he wanted to graduate from college, buy a nice car, go on vacations. And so by age 32, he started putting aside money towards his retirement. He did that for the next several years, contributing a total of $61,000 to get about $130,000 at the end. Now, and it's the same type of account, 8% interest, but he had to do it for 17 years to reach $130,000. Whereas Mr. Start Early only contributed twenty-five thousand instead of sixty-one thousand, I would much rather put aside twenty-five thousand dollars and let time and interest grow the money for me instead of having to pump more and more money into the to the account to reach the same goal. Now that's the overall importance of starting to save money early. It's easy. It's not hard. You guys can open up uh, a Roth IRA. Now when, when you're accumulating assets, there's three things you want to remember. You want to outpace inflation. I mean two things. Outpace inflation and minimize taxation. Um, 
So in, in a Roth IRA, you can open one up with as little as $50, put in $3,600, you can put in up to $5,000 a year until you retire, and, you, and then when you retire, you have access to that money tax-free. Now, who doesn't want money tax-free when you're older? I know I do. I'm tired of paying taxes. So, guys, I, I hope you understand the importance of saving money, starting early, and letting time grow your assets for you. Okay? Um, as Robert Kiyosaki states in his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, if you find you have dug yourself into a hole, stop digging. Okay, just get out. <laughs> Plan for your future, and uh, you'll be glad you did. Thank you.